Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to add Chrome custom tabs to every app on Android. Now, if you haven't already heard about Chrome custom tabs, it's going to take a little explaining, so bear with me here. But basically, when an Android app displays a web page, it's usually not because the app itself has a full-on browser baked into its code. Instead, what's really happening is the app calls on a system-wide browser called WebView, which renders pages for any app that asks. And WebView is a pretty basic browser, so you don't get any of the frills you would get with Chrome, which comes with password autofill, bookmark sync, and lots of cool stuff like that. So to bridge this gap between Chrome and WebView, Google came up with a feature called Chrome Custom Tabs. What this does is basically make Chrome available to every app on your phone. So when an app needs to render a web page, it can do it with Chrome's underlying engine and all of its sync features. So picture this, you open a link in your favorite news app, and instead of using that clunky built-in web view browser, the link loads up in Chrome with all of your history, passwords, and bookmarks synced. But it doesn't actually open Chrome. It opens a Chrome custom tab within the app, so the experience is seamless. Sounds awesome, right? But the only problem is developers haven't really been quick to implement Chrome custom tabs. So even though it's been out for several months now, there still aren't many apps that use it. Well, that's where the app Chromer comes into play. It basically forces all apps to use Chrome custom tabs instead of the older web view, and it also allows you to personalize the in-app browser interface. To get this one going, you'll need to be running Android 4.1 or higher, and you also need to have Chrome installed on your phone or tablet. But beyond that, the app is free, so search Chromer on the Play Store to get it installed, or head to my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks for a direct download link. Then once you've got the app installed, the setup is really simple. We'll start with the personalization options, which are all right here in this section. First, you can change the toolbar color for the system-wide browser, and you got plenty of colors to choose from here. But if you want to use this particular feature, you'll need to make sure you have the colored toolbar option enabled as well. Then you can opt to show the web page title at the top of the screen, or you can disable that option if you'd like. Finally, if you tick this animations box, you can tap choose animation to pick your own window transition. But with all that set up, the last thing you'll need to do is set Chromer as your default browser, which will cause all apps to use Chrome custom tabs instead of WebView. So go ahead and tap the set default browser button, then select Chromer from this next menu and choose always. Right off the bat, you'll get a glimpse of your new in-app web browser, but let me show you how it works in some other apps so you'll get a better picture. So for instance, here in my favorite Reddit app, the links usually load up in WebView, but now, as you can see, they're loading in Chrome custom tabs, complete with a little personalization tweaks I've made. Of course, this means that if you click a link to a site you visited before on Chrome for Android or the desktop, your saved passwords and login history will already be queued up. But the best part is definitely the speed. Chrome is updated more frequently than WebView, which means it's more secure, but it also loads pages faster as a result. So really, nothing has changed in the sense that the app continues to behave as it always has, but now I get all the little perks of loading pages in Chrome without ever having to leave the app I'm using. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.